this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Since last time, I played a bunch of JM5 to win up to 12 Moogle Charms. So now we can get three of them for everyone to boost their experience gains by 60%. Not that you necessarily need to have all of these. I mean, I want to get them so I can get up to, like, level 120, the maximum in the game now. But you don't have to. I mean, the, even the post-game content, it's more difficult, but it's not going to be extraordinarily so for the most part. So let's see, to win those six extra Moogle Charms, in addition to the one I got from last time, let's see, yeah, about 20, 25 minutes per Moogle Charm to win them from the minigame. Not too horrible there. Now, since it's still nighttime, Let's go fishing! So, care to take a cruise? Let's see where we can go. Let's see, the next fishing spot, or well, the first fishing spot is over in that area. And I want to do the fishing now because I don't have a food buff going. So I don't want to, like, waste a food buff while I'm fishing, of course. So we might as well do it now. And I'll worry about the side quests and hunts and other things that we can do around here later. Let's see, right over here is the fishing spot. But we're not going to be stopping off there. We're going to go over here instead. I don't know that these fish only show up at nighttime. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. But I know I can catch them at nighttime. Now, let's see, to get over there, around here, we got a dead end. Whatever shall we do? Well, if you go around here, ha ha, not quite a dead end there. So, yeah, that, can, that was a little tricky for me the first time I played the game. Let's turn on the vibrator for the fish. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. It's showtime. And start fishing. Okay, so... Let's see, the first fish I want to catch is the hardest one. So, let's see, let's go with Big Blaze Bahamut. And let's get a Dragon's Beard, because this fish has a lot of attack power. I'm sure Altisha won't mind us taking their fish illegally in their borders. Yes! Okay, yeah, this is definitely the guy that I'm looking for. Now, just like the Vesper Pool, a lot of the fish here will overlap with various locations. But I like to spread it out a little bit. Yeah, I can hold down the real button for about two seconds whenever this one dives. Maybe a little less than that if I want to play it real conservatively. Better get ready to land it. There is a better fishing reel that we can get here from a mini game, actually. But these fish are reasonably easy enough to catch without it. So I'd rather oh, it's heavy. I'd rather wait on getting the fishing lure. And it could take a while to get to. Yeah, JM5 was pretty easy enough. One thing I learned while I was doing that was whenever you see the boss show up and they've got like a little target symbol next to them, I think that indicates like a weak point on the boss. If you hit them where that target symbol is, you'll deal extra damage and kill them a lot quicker. Not to mention using, you know, water techs and everything. But all right, didn't take too long. The Coral Allure Sea Bass. Massive. Okay, let's see. So for the next one, let's go with the new Stormer Folklore. Or however you pronounce that. The lure. 
And yeah, we got a couple other Focalore. I just want the, the regular one. We're looking for a small yellow dot for the next fish. See if this one's the one I'm looking for. Come on. Are you actually even there? I can't tell on the mini-map. But this one does not have an extraordinary amount of stamina or attack power. They just, they're just rather slippery. They change directions relatively quickly. Hmm, you've improved. But nothing we can't handle. And there we go, the Sigilin Sea Bass. Speaking of which, there is the ocean that we can sail around in. And uh, catch some fish there. But some of those are the hardest fish in the game. So I'm going to wait quite a bit on doing those. We will get them in Chapter 9, though. Okay, so for the next fishing spot, let's just walk over there. Collect whatever treasures we can find along the way. Unfortunately, you can't uh, run around here or sprint or anything. But we can jump around, and unlike Lestalem, there aren't a whole ton of people ready to mob me and interact with me whenever I press the X button. Let's grab a little treasure around here. And then continue fishing. Okay, so let's see, for the next one here... Let's see, let's go with the Ranker Tonberry Lure. There we go. Let's see, this one is a small blue dot around here. If they're in range. There we go. I thought I saw another... Yeah, there's a yellow dot there too, but the blue one is the one I'm really after. Good, good. We didn't uh, aggro the yellow one. Let's see, with this one, this guy has a decent amount of stamina. Not extraordinarily so. But it has enough to take a while. Their attack power is less than extraordinary. So, just a matter of time to reel them in. Now, while I'm doing the fishing, it's going to get to daytime eventually. And I would like to at least pick up all of the photo op quests that we can around here. And then I'll do them later when I've got an experience food buff going. So I can well, get more experience from doing all those quests. So I'm going to route things probably a little differently than I have in my notes. Simply because, you know, I'm going to be stopping to explain some things as I go. But, uh, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Unfortunately, we don't really have much of a way of manipulating time around here. Or at least not as easily as before. You could rest up at the hotel, and that would make it daytime. Or you could go to pick up a hunt that only happens at nighttime, and you could manipulate it that way. But that's about all we got. And I'd rather not uh, have to do that because if I like if I rest up at the hotel, well, I lose a food buff there. So, and for now, I mean, we're not on a food buff, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. Fish number three. Hmm, you've improved. The Pigeon Grouper. Okay, let's see. For the next one, let's see. I want a, uh, what is that? Pearly Moogle Lure. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to save here. I'm not entirely certain if I can win or catch the fish this time of day. 
I know I got it, like, during, well, when it was actually daytime. But I'm not entirely sure. So, if I can do this now. So, we'll see. Okay, so for this guy, we are looking for a small yellow dot. So, let's see if one of these is the one I want. Won't get a good cast like that. Put your back into it. Could be the same small yellow dot we found earlier. But uh, this is the lure that I have used. There's a few lures that could work on this particular fish. Let's see, this one has a fair amount of stamina. Hmm, I don't think this is it. This guy doesn't have as much stamina as I would think they would. But who knows? I could be wrong. Whoop. Yeah, I wasted that dive there with the tension. Went a little too quick to the trigger there. But let's see, this one does not have very much attack power either. Yeah, a decent amount, but pretty average. Wow, that one swims really fast. But, uh, okay, we got that one. Let's see which one this is. Uh, not. You can show a bit of emotion, you know. Oh, we got it. All right, Lucinian sea bass. Okay, we're done there. So now, I want to collect a few photo op quests. There is another, uh, what is that? Another fishing spot around here. Let's see, way over there. But uh, I'm not going to do that yet. Even though it looks like on the minimap that there's a gondola here. It's not, for some reason. I forget what the sequence trigger is to make that location become available but for now let's uh take a look around let's see i need to get back towards the first fishing spot that i went to and there's a photo op quest that we can get there it has to be daytime though for the photo op quest to proc and i think this one is like up top or something. There's a treasure around here too. Yeah. But the Vivian Westwood store should be up these stairs. It's oh. farther than I thought. Seems everyone is making for the shop. Well, that's for the quest we picked up last time. Okay, so there we got the treasure. And then let's see. I I think it's over to the west. Or, well, northeast. Something like that. Hmm. Maybe I need to get higher up? Let's see, I know there was something around here, too. Well, why don't we go over here first, as long as we're in the area. Let's see, I think the photo op quest should be right about there. But it didn't happen for some reason. Maybe it's not late enough in the day? Or something? Hmm. Because I would think daytime it would show up. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. <laughs> okay, well it seems I can't get that to uh, happen right now. So I'll worry about that later. But, uh, let me see, around here should be the photo op quest as well. Hmm, the camera kind of made it look like I did proc the quest, but Pronto was, like, catching up to me or something. Okay, never mind, we're... Splendid. Where are we off to? Never mind with that. Let's just, uh, go to the marina over there. I'm not gonna do the quest... Or the photo op quest that's over there yet. Because I want to wait until I got an experience feed buff to do all that. We've already got the quest. We don't have to rush. 
collecting that. Or doing the side quests that we can do around here. So right now I just want to focus on the fishing and then I'll see what I can do. Maybe I'll give another try to uh, getting those photo op quests to happen. They can be really fickle around here. Like, getting this one was extremely lucky when I was just walking by the dock there. Usually, it takes a while for me to get... I don't know what it is with the photo op quests in Altitia. I guess because we're not driving by a place, maybe that, like, screws around with how the game determines, hey, you can get a photo op quest here or something like that. Well, whatever the case is, there's a few more around here that I would like to pick up. How are we even moving, anyway? I mean, it's not like we're rowing or something. I'm guessing that's some kind of machine that the guy's holding on to that's somehow moving. Maybe there's, like, a motor under the thing or something? I don't know. I can't see. But in any case, yeah, this fishing spot is quite a bit away from everything else around here. But you Fantastic. get a call when you need a ride back. You get a spectacular view. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, here's the photo op, but I don't want to do that yet. Okay, so for the next fish that I want to get, let's use the hot breather red dragon lure let's see i'll be looking for a small blue dot around here hmm only one to work with but i'll see what i can do uh oh yeah i saw that yellow dot making a move on it hmm they're all too close there let me uh back out and try again get those fish to Respawn. I know there are small blue dots that show up here. But I would need to be able to see them. Man, they're really dominated by the yellow dots there. I know this fish I can get around here at this time. There's another one that it's got to be a little later in the day. Like, towards the evening, but not quite fully nighttime. Okay, there it is. Well, at least there's something over there. Hopefully, that'll be what I want. Just try and stay away from the yellow dots. And we should be fine. Yeah, this fish is relatively easy to catch. The other one... Not so much. All right, got that one going. Wow, you did good. The two fish that I can catch here are... Oh, that wasn't what I was looking for. Okay, well, the blue dot is still over there. Oh, there's another blue dot over there. Well, this one just kind of swam away from the rest of the pack. Or the school of fish, as it were. See if I can get their attention. Okay, we got... Well, we got something. Let's see, try to stay farther away from the yellow dots there. Come on. Get over here. There we go. Oh, we got the, uh, the wrong one. Or the other one. I didn't think we could find this guy until a bit later in the day but we can go for this now this guy has a pretty obscene amount of stamina not an extraordinary amount of attack power and this is one of the reasons why I use the red dragon lore because it works on both fish that I can catch here but uh, usually I get the other one much more easily. 
Well, at least I know I can get both fish right now. As opposed to uh, waiting later. Both of them are like red colored fish. Focus. Whoops. Yeah, I gotta be a little more careful with this guy. Not a ton of attack power, but they do have a ton of stamina. So I can't afford to waste my durability so quickly like that. Whoops. Got to be a little more careful there. We've got more than enough durability. I just need to pay attention to what I'm doing. But yeah, I can hold down the real button for at least two seconds. Maybe even four earlier on whenever this guy decides to dive. Oh yeah, that was a solid three seconds there. That is the nice thing about fish with a ton of stamina, you can just reel them in forever without suffering much durability. Other fish, not so much. There will be fish that have both an obscene amount of stamina and attack power eventually. And for those ones, I definitely need the new fishing reel that we can get around here. Same thing for the fish in the ocean there, too. We can get free reign to... Well, I don't know if driving around the ocean is the right term. But we're not exactly sailing across the ocean, either. We don't have a sail. So, yeah, I don't know. But, in any case, let's see what we can do here for now. So, eventually, I will go out into the ocean. Uh, all of the fish there, though, are associate, associated with various quests. So, in that case, I will want to have a food buff going while I'm doing the fishing there. But, first, we'd have to have a way to get out of here. If you try to go back to your boat now, Sid will... I think he doesn't let you leave yet. But uh, eventually, well, fairly soon, we'll be able to get out of here. Alright, just be a little careful now. Yeah, I can hold down the real button for a couple seconds per dive now. So, getting a little tighter on time for that, but... Whoa. Okay, I'll be a little more careful here. Definitely don't want to lose the big guy yet. It's kind of hard, though, when I can't see where the fish is. When they're, like, right in front of me like that. Well, I suppose it's better than Ignis or Prompto walking right through my fishing rod. And also obscuring my vision at the same time. Okay, almost got it. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. Nice. Oh. The scorpion grouper, the second fish. Normally I would if I got the other fish first. I would have used the Big Blaze Bahamut lure to catch this guy. How long you think you're gonna be at it? But that didn't seem to be a problem. Hmm. You know what? Let's get out of here. I want to get the other fish, but I don't want to have to go through catching the big guy again if that became necessary. Sure so time. let's try and avoid the big one and. Go for the little one, if this is the one that I'm indeed looking for. He's off on the real Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fish that I want. Oh, yeah. They're red, and they don't have a ton of stamina. There we go. That should be everything here. Mm, nice. 
the last one, the Red Barrel Fish. All right. We're good to go here. So let's get back to uh, where we were. Or by the hotel. To take a cruise? What is with that voice he's doing? It's like a cheesy game show host voice or something. Well, in any case, let's see. I want to get back to, yeah, the LaVille, the name of the hotel around here. There's also the bar that we can go to, but... I'm not going to go there right now. Let's see. I think it's a little late in the day to collect some of the, the photo op quests that we can do around here. I may decide to wait, but I would like to give it a try if I can. There's also a bunch of treasures that we can get around here. Uh, around the hotel, at least, anyway. So, I'd like to get that, and I'll get the treasures. If I can get the photo op quests, great. If not, I'll move on for now. But, since I don't have a uh, food buff going... Gentlemen... It has been a pleasure. I think it'll be fine uh, resting up here to make it morning. Okay, where's the entrance? Ah, oh, there we go. The Laville. Oh, hey! Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory wherein the king may walk. What does it even mean? But uh, now we can go back to Lucis through hotels with Umbra's help there. So basically, they're going to call it time travel, but you're not really traveling back in time. It's purely a gameplay mechanic, so that way you can go back and do stuff that you didn't do before at the time. But yeah, there's no, like, plot significance to time travel or anything like that. Come on, let's go see the dress. Another nice thing oh, about stop. It's this... It's not far. We oh. can walk it. Sounds like we're close. But, uh, oh yeah, another thing about the time travel mechanic. It reverts the day-night cycle back to normal. While you're in Lucis, anyway. So that's pretty nice. Where did she go? We didn't have, like, a loading screen or anything. Okay, so around here, we got two hotels that we can stop at. Greetings. So this one is relatively normal. There's the call Umbra option for... Uh, what is it? Going back to Lucis, but not yet. Let's call it a day. Soft beds, baby. Let's just rest up here, make it fully daytime. Oh, we got enough AP to learn the next ability I want. Hey, this one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. Nice shot there. Nice. Hmm. Whoa. I swear half your photos are selfies. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Yeah, evidently. I didn't even use Snapshot. I'm just taking photos while I'm playing pinball. I like pinball hey, games. Isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Hmm? Is there, like, Carbuncle around here? I don't know. Well, let's see. Hmm, that's a nice shot. Let's see. Let's go with this one. Nice look at the canals they got around here. Good morning. Hi. So, yeah, while you're in Altitia, though, morning starts at 9 a.m. 
Now, over here, we got the triple experience multiplier for the hotel, but it costs a lot. So, I'm not going to use that right now. Let's call him, bruh. So, let's see. We got a few options here. You can go back to Lucis, do nothing. What does that even do? Give me paw. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what the point of that is, but uh, all right. Okay, so while it's morning now, let's uh, look around for a little treasure. Oh, it's raining around here. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, hopefully that doesn't uh, ruin the photo op quests. Dude. Oh no, run, run away. Okay, so let's go around the back of this place. There's, uh, let's see, there's uh, a few things we can do around back here. There's a treasure around here. I'm not precisely sure. Oh! We're getting a photo op? should be a real nice photo spot somewhere nearby. Uh, sure. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Huh. With this one... Yeah, I thought it was across this the bridge there. Knocked. What is it? Yeah, I thought we'd get this on the other side, but, uh... I, I knew that! Uh, I guess, yeah, one time it didn't quite proc... For me what do you got there ignis what is that whoa leviathan huh yeah leviathan is female in this game peace be unto the province yeah peace with you in charge okay where's the treasure around here it might be down below I, I'm pretty sure it is actually. Well, let's let's go down below. What do you got here? They sell vuvuzelas here. I'm so glad. No. This way to the dress. Yep. Same street as the estate. Man, this place is right track. dangerous with all those vuvuzelas and Kenny Crow and everything. Okay, let's see around here. There we go. Okay, got that. And then, hmm. Well, if you notice on the mini map, there's supposed to be an arms dealer here, but for some reason, I've seen this happen before, they don't spawn. I don't know why. So I guess I'll have to wait on that one. Okay, let's see. The other. Uh, what is it? The other photo op quest is somewhere around there. So, let's get back up top, see if we can grab that one. There's a few other treasures behind the hotel that we can get. But, uh, I'm not going to head over there right now. Yeah, I can't really jump around to move around faster here. Uh, oh. In Rod, we trust. Really, game? Okay. All right. This one might be on. Um... They spared no expense on the hmm. dress. I'm glad I caught it when I did. If the prince is still alive, they should go ahead with the wedding. Yeah, they just need him to show up. Doesn't he know it's rude to keep a lady waiting? <laughs> hmm. The people have spoken. Good to know the prince isn't completely forgotten. Well, let's see about getting oh, this photo up. This is so beautiful. I want mine to be like that. And it shall be, my love, as surely as I am your Prince Noctis. <laughs> Looks like the prince has a following as well. No. Not bad. For a symbol of the peace. Yeah, a little creepy for my taste. Well, let's see. Okay, so this might be further down. 
Let's see. Okay, so there was... Yeah, we got these stairs around here. Maybe I gotta go down below for this one. Somewhere around here. Maybe I should stop, like, jumping around everywhere. Maybe that messes up with, uh... The photo op here. I think I've gotten this on the lower level before. But I'm not absolutely certain. Ah, there it is, the bar! Cold. Yeah. Okay, there we go! How about a group photo? I know just the place. And it's close. But, uh, yeah, we can go do that. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Or, well, pick it up, but, yeah. Okay, so, that's all the photo ops. So now, if I can ever en get into my menu, yeah, this is why I, uh, what is that? Why I rested up at the hotel. Not so much for making it daytime, but, well, yeah, partially for that. But also... Good. Will you be staying with us? So that I can just warp right back here from anywhere in Altitia. Now, normally, I wouldn't want to go back right now. But there's a timed quest that we can do today. I'm recording this on the 20th of the month. So I'd like to take care of that while I'm here. Oh, it looks like uh, Lara Croft decided to... Uh, Pay Altisha a visit. So yeah, we... Well, where are we going to end up in Lucis? I think we end up at... Uh, what is it? Cape Kayam. And whenever you first return to Lucis, there's another quest that should pop up. If not immediately, soon thereafter. I think we get a alert or a phone call or something or other to pick this up. Ah, there we go. Howdy, Prince. Do you mind swinging by the garage for a hot minute? We've been experiencing some awful strange shakes back here in Lead. The Hutters are always oh. looking into it, but I reckon they could use a couple more hands. Got it. On our way. We're totally not going to take 70 hours to get around to that quest. Spoiler alert! We are! So, I'm not going to worry about that, but you get it right away, automatically. So, we might as well. But, uh, yeah, let's go plant some more carrots here. Hmm, it's a bit cloudy. That might be a bit of a problem. And by the way, Sid's not here anymore, either. He's uh, back at Hammerhead. The game is kind of inconsistent with how far back certain people go. Because, like, everything here is based on, like, Chapter 6, once we dropped off Iris. Sounds good. But, like, Sid isn't here anymore. He's all the way back at the at Hammerhead there. Oh, yeah, we got that AP. I should learn the new ability. So, yeah, don't look into it too much as far as, like, why certain things are inconsistent in where characters are. That's just however they decided to do it. But, uh, okay, now we can finally get expert first aid for Gladio. He'll need that eventually. See, we got some other abilities around here. Maybe I'll take a look at that. But otherwise... Let's see, the other abilities that I want to get are, yeah, the magic levels around here. So, I probably won't need them until the post-game, really, but we might as well get them now. Oh, we got another, uh, Cactar. Cactar. Talcott, we got something awesome for you. Wait, this is... Hmm? The Altitian Edition. What? But how did you... Whoa! Yeah! I never thought I'd see this! Hey! It's Cactuar! I like how they put all of them on the table there like that. Part of his uh, 
collection. Nice attention to detail. I like that. Thank you for coming to see us, Prince Noctis. I like how excited he gets about cactars. Little guy <laughs> seriously flipped. Real glad I picked it up for him. His joy surpassed all expectations. <laughs> Doggone it! Who's chopping onions around here? <laughs> eh, a few carrots. That's okay. Take what we can get. I think we can get one more oh what berry? Your veggies. These greens look great. My cooks and I'll be back. Let's see, as far as yourself. let's see, the car is so yeah. let me know if you got any leftovers. Right up there, no longer at Altisha. But uh yeah, we got the 16-bit decals going now. Oh, yeah, I should probably like get my chocobos going here. I'll go for a few days, but whenever you go back to Altisha, your chocobo meter runs out. They empty it there. But, uh, okay, so, let's see, I want to, yeah, I want to go up to the Vesper Pool, that's where the timed quest is, and I want to get the experience food buff, because we've got, well, not only the enemies to kill, but we've also got Expericast that I finally want to use, now that we've got the triple experience multiplier, 12 Moogle Charms. Lots of good stuff. What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Nice. Doesn't look that clear to me. Well, let me take a look. Yeah, it's a little bit, but I think it's more cloudy than anything. But whatever works for you. How's our Elemancy looking here? Could use a little more. Grab that. And here we are. Oh, okay. Now we got access to the final trial. I wasn't sure when that one exactly became available. I'm not going to do it right now. Let's call it a day. All right. I'm going to pitch the tent. But uh, I'll think about doing that sometime before the post game. For now, though, let's uh, yeah get the new recipe going. Well, I mean, we've had it for a while, but I'm going to use a different one this time. There it is. The lasagna al forno. See, we're getting a little light on dark shells and fine, clean wheat. So I'll probably want to buy those back at Cape Kayam eventually. And by the way, as far as using uh, Umbra to get back and forth goes... You can do that at any hotel or motel or rest point other than uh, Haven. So that's how you can go back between Lucis and Altitia. You don't need to sail there every single time. Feeling refreshed. Let's see. Okay, the timed quest is well, over the there. Stretch out a bit more. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a bit of a walk to get over there. So, yeah, why don't we take our chocobo? Whee! See, I hope these guys all showed up. Okay, there it is. I saw the little blue mark. Oh, it looks like we got some other guys. You just sit back and watch how it's done. I bet I could to kill here, too. Then, by all means. Oh, yeah, let me get the Xpericast going while we're at it, too. Okay, so just a little bit of fire. What do we got? We got coins, silver pieces, a lot of banknotes. Let's see, I need two more rose scales, which I will get in Chapter 9 eventually. But for now, oh, wow, we got a lot of rare coins, too. Okay, so let's go get that up there. Yeah, I think uh, 16 banknotes is the way to go. So we get those going. And then let's also get some ice 
magic going here too. With the rare coins, we only need eight of those to get our bonus level as high as I want. Okay, so let's get the new blizzard magic going. Let's get fire. Then, let's see, an ice spear. And I would like to remove my sword. Can I do that? There we go. Let's get the Blade of Renair going there. Okay, so then with this guy, Blizzard. Whoa! Overkill! Easy as they come. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn off my vibrator. Getting a little too excited there. But, uh, who are we supposed to do the prompt with? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Get uh, some AP. There we go. Okay. So now, with that going, let's see, as far as my techs go, let's go with Piercer, since I don't have the favorite food buff going there. Piercer is the way to go. Then we've got Enhancement. Let's actually get you on an Ice Spear. No, actually, let's go with the Stormlands, because we're almost done with these guys anyway. Get some non-elemental weapons going on you. You can take a Blade of Brenner, and... Actually, you know what? Why don't we go with Force Stealer? We got Enhancement with Ignis to help us out. Maybe get a little Dawn Hammer going in on these guys. But, uh, can I... Oh. Okay, yeah, I was trying to use a. Yep. Maybe it's just me. Uh, what is it? But I felt kind of bad a warp point. You're not alone, but out in the wild. Oh, let's wait a moment on this. Hold on. Okay, now we got the magic. Good to go. Let's see something close by. There we go. Yeah, you see, we're still dealing max damage without having access to uh what is it limit break where'd you learn that one knock well i mean i have access to it but done in a minute you know what i mean okay now i would like to also get enhancements going here yeah the difference in attack power is too much to ignore i think Let's murder the children first, and then we'll deal with the parents. But, uh, yeah, not too many of these guys around here. Not like a hundred of them to fight. Oh, we're full on Gorilla Sirloins. That's unfortunate. I mean, whatever. I got so much money, who cares? Ow. Okay, we could kill them that way, too. There we go. Get a little more experience going there. Yeah, make sure you've got three uh, Moogle Charms on everyone. Yeah, look at that damage. Very nice. Okay, so... Yeah, let's kill that guy first. Save my uh, dawn hammers for the big guys. Sorry to break this up. Say your prayers. Not bad, not bad. How's uh, Xperia cast looking? Okay, we're almost refreshed there. See if I can get another one going here. Ha ha! Okay, uh, actually, yep. let's, uh, kill that one. How many we got left? Okay, there's still a Garulessa around here to kill. So let's get Dawn Hammer going. Sorry to break this up. Hmm, can't seem to break those horns. Well, let's see what we can do with that. Get around here a little bit. Hmm, I was trying to go for a blind side. Well, it looks like that's not happening today. That's okay. 
So you could probably get in one more Xperia cast. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, come on. Okay, that's one way of uh, doing that. Well, at least we got plenty of experience. And some um, quest points. Oh, just happy it's over. Yeah, look at that experience. Nice. Okay, so we got the timed quest going. What else do we got? How many do we have now? Okay, so probably one more timed quest and we'll be able to get... Uh, what is that? The, the AP reward. Not that there's really that much left. Let's get a little more magic going there. Okay, so we got all that stuff going. So let's see. Why don't we get back to Altisha then? We've still got plenty of food buff left. I wonder if the timed quest would let me... Uh, what is that? Would let me plant more carrots. Hmm. I'm just thinking if I want to go to a hotel that's like closer by than Keep Kayam is. Yeah, you know what? I don't need the... Uh... Yeah, let's go to Lestalem instead. I don't need the carrots. We're fine. So, my personally, my preferred location to go back and forth between Lucis and Alticia is... Uh, what is it? Long Life Peak? They got the hotel, or well, the motel, there. So what's next? Around the and they've got the the haven south of uh, Battle of Mines with no enemies between the two points. So they're pretty close to each other. Actually, I should have gone that way. And well, that's okay. But I don't want to drive all the way across Lucis and lose like half my food buff. The food buff will carry over between Lucis and Altitia. So that's something you can do, even though we don't have access to a haven in Altitia, we can still have access to food buffs. The finest room in the house okay, is available so... for your immediate comfort. Oh, just need the dog. That's okay. And apparently I'm still on fire. But, uh, yeah, let's go back to Altitia there. Yeah, for some reason they empty out your photos whenever you go back and forth like that. But, uh, yeah, nothing too extraordinary there. So let's see, I do, what time is it going to be when I get there? I do want to do the photo op quest if I can, but I don't want to rest up at the hotel to do it. To make it, like, early in the morning. Well, I only got a decent amount of time. I could probably do a couple of those quests eventually. But where can we buy some of those Vuvuzelas to use on our enemies? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.